Hello everyone. Welcome at the module uh, 1.1 1 .1, where I will present uh, how to use Canva uh, for better Instagram uh, performance. So let's see uh, what this workshop will be about. Uh, so I will present a social tool, online design tool Canva. Uh, this, off, uh, this tool uh, is made for those people who want to create uh, quality content uh, and whether it is for personal or for business uh, purposes. Uh, Canva offers you three different uh, packages. Uh, the first one is for free and we will use uh, this one. So I will present uh, how to use Canva with the package uh, which is uh, totally for free. So you can easily uh, use it and, and get started. So why Canva is actually good uh, for social media? Uh, so why is good? Uh, to be successful on social media, of course, you need to do uh, quality content. And the fact is that in a flood of all social media posts uh, that appear on our newsfeed, there are only a few of them that capture our attention. So uh, I think you would definitely agree uh, with uh, this uh, thesis. If you want to do quality content, uh, of course, you don't need to get a degree from photography or design and Canva is here. So Canva is here uh, to help us, uh, to help me, to help you uh, and to lead us through the whole designing uh, process in order to make our content captivating, engaging, and of course, uh, uh, for those of you uh, eager to enhance uh, your business, also professional. And I will show you how to do, do this uh, for uh, Instagram. So uh, how to create an Instagram post? First, uh, what is Instagram? It is also a social platform where the main type of communication is Visual, yes. Instagram users predominantly com communicate via uh, photos, videos, and live stories, of course. Uh, posting Instagram post is easy and anything but uh, time consuming. However, if you want to uh, capture attention of your uh, followers, of your target group, uh, you need to be uh, a little bit creative. You need to show this. Uh, creativity and invest some time in photo editing. Something uh, uh, is offering also by Instagram, but uh, uh, Canva is uh, more professional. Canva is more professional and we will see how to do, how to uh, uh, create post uh, via uh, Canva. So, uh, let we start, uh, open your browsers and type in Canva and then follow the steps for uh, registration. On the upper right corner, click sign in. For those of you who, who have a Google account, you can also just click uh, log in. So uh, this is the first step. If you want to create an Instagram post, we then have to uh, create, uh, you have to type Instagram and click uh, the first uh, uh, hit. So the first option is Instagram posts uh, and you click on it. Uh, then, uh, as you can see on the right hand side of the screen, uh, different uh, templates are uh, showing and uh, you can choose depends uh, uh, on your taste uh, as well as the purpose of your post as well as uh, uh, of uh, the interest of your target group of course uh, distant templates on the right side are not fixed you can use them just as the source of inspiration so you can just click on one of them and then design it uh, uh, by your own uh, uh, imagination. So uh, let's
let's move now with the cursor to the extreme left and click on a blank document because we will do everything from the uh, from the start uh everything from uh uh from the scratch actually because uh this uh, blank at, uh, blank document will allow us to 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 show you how to do something uh on your own so uh let's do this uh here we are canva has opened the document uh and this document is totally in accordance with the criteria for instagram post uh and dimensions uh, fits perfectly so we don't have to change anything uh, this is good uh, on the left hand side uh, there are some templates uh, canva also uh, even now suggests uh, us to use uh but uh, as we are doing it uh, for instagram let's be a little bit uh, creative and original of course uh so let's start by clicking the uploaded content so the content that uh, should be already uploaded on uh, canva after you click on it canva opens photo gallery and then you choose uh, you are free to choose among different uh, photos you already uh saved on this uh, platform if you don't have anything saved, uh, then just download uh, new media content and uh, select the box uh, uh, you will see uh, in the purple color. So above the uh, pictures. Uh, so once you select preferred image, uh, paste it on the blank document. Uh, and while you are doing this, uh, make sure that your photo goes perfectly in line with uh, dimensions of the square if you are satisfied uh, with your uh, work uh, then just press download and publish it on instagram and that's it so uh, press download this means uh, to click on the right uh, uh, upper right uh, corner on the top C can i use template for instagram uh, of course uh and uh instagram uh is also some some people use instagram also to upload uh content that uh, is not uh, done but by their own so they use uh for example some professional businesses use canva for inspiration and then ju uh, they just uh, uh uh change the colors change the picture change the text and uh uh when you uh see such content on instagram you you think that uh, it is uh uh it is their own uh creat creativity but uh of course uh, they use canva but uh, they will not tell you uh so i want to say that uh I advise you to be professional and focus just on the field uh, you can control and you are good at uh, and uh, at the end of the day uh, you only need to engage uh, consumers or those uh, this target group uh, you want to offer your service or uh, etc so uh, canva is a useful tool also when it comes to templates as i said uh, there are bunches of templates even for uh, uh even uh, offered uh, for the us uh, who pick a package which is free so how to do that uh, the first step is return to the home page type in in the search bar instagram and select instagram posts and choose among uh, pre-designed templates that are suggested uh, and what i want to tell you that uh, think about the context when you are doing when do, when you are choosing the right template and the target audience so uh, let me put one example uh, if uh, i am a politician and it's a pre-election period i want to of course i want to come closer to citizens that uh, they will vote for me uh so i want to enhance my image and reputation so i decided to invite them on let's say round table where uh, we will discuss about uh, current issues the context and target audience as you can see it's uh, well defined uh 
uh, I'm not an outdoor person, I'm not an athlete or artist, I'm politician, so doing pictures of the nature fa fails, uh, falls away. Uh, so I find myself best on the premises of parliament, uh, in front of camera, or let's say hundreds of people that are listening to my uh, public speech. Uh, and photos that I will choose must adhere to these standards, of course. Uh, as I'm organizing around the table, there must be some text included uh, inside the photo, at least the name, date, and time of the uh, meeting. So, uh, if we continue, this template, uh, which you see on the right uh, hand side of the screen, caught my eyes. Uh, but of course, I am not a girl, so but uh, I have to delete the image within the frame of a phone and find appropriate uh, image of myself. And uh, again, this template will serve me just as a source of inspiration. I will not copy it. Uh, that's important to notice. The, uh, then the, uh, top on the picture. Uh, do a right click and select an option uh, delete if you want to delete the picture and uh, with the cursor now you move on the left side click on a bubble with an arrow which means uploaded content and of course uh, now if you don't have anything saved uh, uh, move up and upload new multimedia content purple rectangle that uh, I already mentioned uh, previously uh, as you can see on the picture, uh, I already chose one uh, uh, picture inside, which is now uh, inside the uh, phone screen. And uh, I also adjust it so that it fits uh, perfectly within the frame. Additionally, I also de uh, deleted the text because uh, I will replace uh, with the new one, the one which is connected to it, uh, my round table and all uh data which have to be pointed out uh, if i want to invite uh, people so uh, i select a text called uh, baby failure fin uh, for the title of the round table and jane dewey for the additional information like time and place the letter is of course written in a smaller font so uh as I don't uh, like the background color, I will also change uh, this. Uh, how I did that, uh, you move with the cursor to the upper left corner, click on a little square and look at the combination of colors offered uh, by uh, Canva. So that's it. Uh, I choose yellow color, uh, but only one part of the background has changed. The upper left corner of the picture, as you can see, remain the same. So I move with the cursor there and do another click. We repeat the whole procedure and uh, on the left uh, hand side of the screen, uh, you choose uh, the preferred uh, curl color. Uh, so that's it. Uh, it's something uh, that uh, shows my creativity. Of course, it's uh, nothing special, but for an amateur, it's uh, it's quite good. Uh, what do you think? Uh, so I think uh, it would be better to do some corrections with uh, text. Uh, so I want date and time to be more visible. Uh, and in order to do so, I have to click on the text, mark words uh, you want to see highlighted, and third step, move with the cursor upwards, and fourth, select uh, bold, uh, and that's it. So I do a little bit, uh, uh, I highlight the text so it will be more uh, visible for my uh, target audience. Okay, so uh, how to organize a new suite? Uh, one more, one more thing uh, for you. Uh, as this was just one example, uh, creating and planning a row—it's uh, very popular among Instagram users right now. 
And remember, after you click on a person profile image, uh, his or her news feed is the second thing uh, uh, they will look at. And if the attractiveness of profile picture seems like an invitation, then the organization of a news feed is the next thing you think when deciding whether a particular content is worth to follow or not to follow. And to be honest, I'm, I'm, I have always been amazed uh, by all this perfectly planned uh, news feed. And this is something that separates average Instagram users with a few hundred followers from the greatest ones with 10,000s of uh, followers. And let's try to do this with Canva. So how uh, you will, we will do this uh, with Canza, uh, Canva. The process is uh, quite similar like the previous one. Uh, just go back on the main site and type in, in search bar Instagram, but now choose the second option, which is related to the uh, stories, click on it. And then you will see uh, uh, again uh, uh, some templates, but uh, we will uh, click on the left, uh, uh, which is a blank document. Uh, uh because we will do uh everything from scratch again uh so we want to to have a row uh and we will do that uh with uh clicking on uh elements and uh we we want to find such an element that uh fits perfectly which is a shape of uh which have uh, has a shape of a square like uh, instagram uh photo and uh click on it and uh, paste it on the black document and then repeat it uh, uh, sometimes, uh, for example, uh, three uh, such uh, images goes uh, go uh, in one row and try to be uh, as uh, precise as possible. Uh, this is also the precondition to have three such squares uh, in a row. Uh, okay, so let's see how it looks like when we do re when we re repeat this uh, uh, several times. Uh, let me emphasize uh, emphasize here that Canva does not allow us to do copy paste with the right click, and instead you have to press buttons Control Ctr Ctr L and see if you want to copy something. Uh, and buttons control and V if you want to paste something. So it's a little bit uh, different. After you succeed, uh, take some time and put all squares accordingly so they, that they fit uh, the frame, like you see on the picture uh, on the right hand side of the screen. Why does it uh, matter? So uh, now we can select among photos offered by Canva photos that we already have saved on this platform or we upload other photos from our computer. Uh, just make sure that uh, while doing this, you start filling up the frames with selected photos uh, from the button up. Uh, so now you can understand why some Instagram users have such an outstanding portfolio because they plan it uh, ahead. So, however, this gives us just a source of inspiration to try this on our own, whether we want to enhance our social image, uh, social media image, attract potential customers or just increase uh, the number of followers. Uh, and if I repeat once again, catchy portfolio is one of the first thing the visitor of your profile will notice, uh, though your uh, bio looks amazing, uh, it is the quality of the content that uh, makes the difference. So thank you for your attention. Bye.